blankets and my, my sleeping bags all around me to make a soundproof <laughs> room. Yes, yes, Nick, because this is the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to bring us a bit closer. So, so, so we were, oh, blimey, so we were, uh, I fell off a stage yesterday when I was interviewing someone on, live on camera. You, you wait to see the clip, it's hilarious. So, so Nick, I was, just, I was just thinking earlier about when we were in the uh, uh, potato sprout suppressant um, course. You've got a fascinating background. Here's the question. Apart from the role that you're doing at the moment, what, what's the most interesting position that you've had in this sector? In the potato sector or more widely in ag? In ag. Because you, you've been such a, a wide, varied, versatile individual from, from physically farming to investment. You must have, yeah, you, no, you've I mean, seen everything. Well, I'm not sure I've seen everything, but, uh, but I've seen quite a lot. And doing what I do now with Craig Moore in New Zealand is, is just extraordinary because to build, or to be part of, don't give me too much credit, but to be part of building a business from nothing 11 years ago, 12 years ago, into being one of New Zealand's largest farming businesses is, has been great fun. Okay, so and is it just New Zealand-centric? What? Yeah, we just, Craigmore just does New Zealand. Yeah, okay. I mean, apart from me, it's a bunch of Kiwis who are really very good at what they do, and we, we now attract some exceptional people to the business okay. um, and, and they are really quite inspirational I mean they you know, make me feel quite inadequate okay. uh, yeah, but so, what, so, what, so if they're all New Zealand Kiwi based yeah. and you're, you're not a Kiwi so what's your connection how, <laughs> how, how do you fit in Wait, how, how's the jigsaw work um, as you probably spotted New Zealand is quite a long way from everywhere and the majority of our capital that we deploy in New Zealand comes from elsewhere in the world and, and the majority from Europe. Okay. Uh, and so I, uh, I look after investor relations and, and almost all of our investors have no experience yeah. in the space. Yeah. And so they start off by understanding the thesis but being nervous about the execution. And my job is to help them sleep at night yeah. and to explain stuff. Yeah. And to explain. That, that's really interesting because there's um, some uh, high level individuals I know, especially within Fresh Projects, who've been approached by New York headhunters um, to go and represent New York funds because the funds want to get into agriculture because it's sexy, but they don't understand agriculture. So no, they need someone, so yeah. they need to, you know what I'm going to say, they, they need someone to tell them what end of a cow is. Can, 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 just on that side, so last um, 18 months, we, we picked up that um, um, funds, uh, the last recession, they all came running into agriculture because they saw it's a, yeah, a safe haven. Yeah. And now this time, we, we might be coming into this perceived recession. And the same is happening. They're coming into agriculture as a safe haven, but also fresh produce and also all the ag tech. All, uh, well, ag, ag tech is slightly different because ag tech is, is proper private equity. Yeah. yeah ag, ag is a huge industry globally. If you invent the, the one bit of tech that everybody has to have, in whatever sector, you'll do jolly well, and they they all want to be part of that. Yeah. And so I, I would say yes, ag that it's ag because it's being sold into ag, but it's not really ag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and so robotics and data management and measurement and everybody loves it. Yeah, because we were talking about it at breakfast this morning. If you remember um, going back say ten years ago to some of the big UK events like yeah. cereals, everyone was selling drones. Yeah. Uh, what's happened to them? And then everyone well, was selling. They're in Ukraine. And, and then yeah, there's more money in military. And then everyone then went into AD plants. What's happened to them? Then everyone went oh, into no, solar. AD's, AD's all right. AD's doing all right. I mean, a lot of people went into AD plants not understanding that an AD plant is a cow in a concrete tank, yeah. basically. <laughs> uh, and has to be looked after in the same way. You have to care for it and not feed it the wrong stuff. Yeah. But people who got AD are now running quite big successful AD businesses yeah. because they've yeah. taken the AD plants away from the farmers who didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Well done. Okay, okay so, so if there was a fund listening in and they were curious about this, this sector, what, what would your advice be as to how, how they should start their journey of discovery into, into global agriculture? There are, there are four things that matter. There's political risk. And if you look at the world, there's 190 odd members of the UN. There are probably five in which you would invest with confidence for the long term in ag. The US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and England, not the UK, England. And all right, there are a few others, Portugal and former DDR and Uruguay are nearly there. But yeah. So political risk, climate, yeah. how much do you rely on intervention yeah. and how much are you happy with what God's providing? Yeah. Um, and New Zealand wins on that count, hands down. Yeah. Um, where do you sit in the competitive universe? 
Yeah, are you the low cost producer? Because if you're the low cost producer, which New Zealanders have milk and apples and most things, um, you will be fine when everybody else is on their knees. Yeah. If you're not the low cost producer, why are you doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the other is management. Yeah. Uh, because nothing works without good people. And, and there's so much that we, we all know. Uh, we were talking again earlier yeah. about everyone's um, adventure into Russia. Um, yeah. and, and, and how they're fascinating, but how that didn't work for, because ultimately because of political risk. It was political risk. Yeah. I mean, and climate risk. And you, 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 you can go back a long way in Russia, yeah. and there's quite a lot of data, climate data and harvest data. And if you pick it apart, you, you find that in most places, one year in three doesn't work. Yeah. You can't do a business yeah, on exactly. one year, one crop failure in three. Yeah, yeah. And again, that goes back 150 years. Yeah. You can find that information. So, and um, yeah, so so Russia's hard because it's a big country, and Ukraine a bit the same for the war. Um, yeah, enough work so that at a national level, it was yeah. quite a big producer. But if you were farming here or there, yeah. every now and then, quite often, you didn't have a harvest. And, and one thing I'm slightly sad about is um, Africa. So, so South oh, Africa, yeah. South Africa uh, produces in a normal year four and a half million tons of fresh produce that's exported out, and three and a half million that goes into the domestic market. The ten fastest growing cities in the world are all in Africa. So when I've said to funds, "Oh, have a look at Africa," they, we're not going anywhere near Africa. Corruption and the, the problem is why the, the, the feeling yeah. I get they invest into South Africa, but that's tough as well at the moment. Can, can you see can you, those countries that you nominated as safe? Can you see, can you see other entries coming in? Perhaps. The problem with all of Africa is it has no history of long-term political security. So yeah. some countries are great for a while. Mozambique was brilliant for a while. Yeah. Um, Kenya's been pretty good, probably better than most for quite long. South Africa, but but it, you know, ag farming's all about long term. Yeah. Well, about long -term. And, and that's what these these funds. That's, well, that's yeah. why they need to engage with the likes of yourself yeah. to, to tell them well, uh, yeah. that, that it's not. You can't buy something and flip it in three, four, five yeah. years on a conventional. Well, you can, but but then you need to go to somewhere really scary. I mean, we we bought a farm in Serbia in 2004. Okay. They'd only just put the guns away. Yeah. Um, you know, that was very high risk, yeah. and we'd been in Central Europe for a de nearly a decade, so we sort of understood the risk. And we were very lucky yeah. that the Serbians continued on a good, good yeah. trajectory. Well, just go back to Mozambique. We'll, yeah. we, we, we know a business, yeah. we'll probably know who we've been talking about, who invested 80 million US in it, um, and eight years later had to sell it for one US just to get out of it. Yeah. But are you. Are you positive about the future? Are you positive oh, yeah, about absolutely. agriculture? I'm, I'm positive about agriculture. I'm very negative about the politics around agriculture, the politics yeah. of subsidy, tax break, and, and the fact that there are, I mean, there are plenty of people in the UK who recognise that that's a bad thing, that's a drag on productivity, a drag on innovation, a drag on entrepreneurial skill. Yeah. Um, when you've been to New Zealand long enough, you see it so clearly yeah. how damaging that is. Yeah. And, and we're now in the politics of land use change for climate. Yeah. And again, the Kiwis are having that conversation quite robustly, moving the least productive land into forestry. Yeah. And we're barely scratching the surface yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. And, or even the rest of Europe, and it's the being negative about the UK. So. Okay, but there's, there's always a, a positive from a, uh, from a negative. So the, the, if the bar is relatively low here, and we can learn from the likes of the New Zealand colleagues, there's so, so, so much you to go hope so. There's, so, there's a huge amount to go for. Okay. Talk, talking to go, go for, shall we go have a coffee yeah, yeah. and enjoy the rest of the conference? <laughs> Nick, it'd be brilliant. Thank you.